Welcome to The Hollywood Scholar, I'm Jed Morgan. And despite Moon Knight being one of the few Disney Marvel properties coming up that I have even the tingling of excitement for, I was always skeptical on the show, and it seems like that skepticism has borne fruit as we have a new clip from the Moon Knight show that really legitimizes a lot of people's concerns about it and a lot of the concerns I had about it and really drives down my excitement to where I barely am sure if I'm going to even watch the show now or not. Like it, it's pretty <laughs> It pretty much destroys the whole idea that I had about this show and really cements it back into the rest of the Disney shit that we've gotten in recent years, very much focused on identity politics and feminism, which is something that we don't need in every single property, especially superhero properties, which is the basis of escapism. We want to forget the real world issues. Whether or not you agree with the type of political stuff that Hollywood is propagating, I don't think that makes a difference because Hollywood at the forefront is supposed to be escapism. We are supposed to forget about our problems for a little while. And if you're constantly beat over the head with political ideas, whether or not you agree with them, it can get tiring. It can be soul crushing. And it seems like even the Moon Knight show that I was looking forward to can't escape it. And so, you know, I, I, I'm not surprised, honestly, and I'm not hurt because I wasn't officially attached to the show. I, I hadn't formed an emotional attachment to it. So not anything to really <laughs> change my mind. It really cemented Disney as the corporation I always knew it to be. But we're going to watch this clip from the Moon Knight show that really cements this as a feminist film as so much of Disney Plus has propagated recently. Summon the suit. Summon the suit? <laughs> the suit. The suit. The suit. Thank you. The suit. Yeah, why would she give that to him if she's so much clearly better than him in this scene? Oh, bad guy lair, and you just kind of run away super easily? That doesn't help your bad guy intimidation. Yeah, it really makes the stakes very difficult to feel. God, that is so bad. I'd have problems with uh, Oscar Isaac being able to do that. Of course he had to say that was awesome. Of course he had to say that. You gotta always compliment the whammon. But yeah, that move she pulled, I would have a big problem with Oscar Isaac doing it. Without the superpowers, of course. Because that dude was huge. And... That's film school CGI. Like, <laughs> I know film students who could do better CGI than that. <laughs> but... This is exactly what Disney has told us that they are doing. This is very much in line with everything else Disney Plus and Marvel has been doing the last few years in the comics, TV shows, and movies. This shouldn't surprise anyone, and I'm kind of disappointed that I actually even had the inkling of excitement for the show before this because I knew what they were doing, and I let myself believe for a second that maybe, maybe this one show might be free of it, but it can't be. It can't be. Not with the political propaganda that these studios are propagating. And that sucks because Moon Knight seems like a fascinating character. Again, I'm not a comic book reader, so I didn't have much of an attachment to his character. But he just seems very fascinating as a character. And just everything in this clip really damages the show from the villain seeming pathetic as in not intimidating. It really drives down the stakes, makes things very difficult to be afraid of the villains be afraid of any bad things that can happen. The stakes are non-existent. If this little girl, which she's, she's tiny, it's not like a, just, when you're smaller, you have difficulty fighting men that big. And she's like, oh, he's like, oh no. <laughs> between the villains, between, yeah, it deconstructs the villain, it deconstructs the hero, it deconstructs the henchman, and just makes her seem better. And it's everything that these studios have been doing and it's what we have to come to expect in recent years and it really sucks because it is the death of good storytelling if you can predict if the audience can 100 percent predict everything that's going to happen and know that it's done for political reasons the audience is going to reject it as they've been progressively doing throughout the years so yeah this clip really makes it so i may not even watch the show the trailers are good the trailers for moon knight are good but this clip reveals what it's actually going to be like and it's not going to be good. I, I fully expect it to be 
just the, like the rest of the Marvel garbage that we've been getting in recent years, especially from Disney+. Plus. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Anon. If you like what I do here and want to see good, compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern-day mental illness issues. Books 1, Down in Flames, and Book 2, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book 3, Kill the Dark, coming soon.